Hello everyone. My name is Vimal Raj. I'm a lecturer from James Polytechnic College, Aurangabad, Bihar, from the department Mechanical. So today we're going to discuss on the unit number five, that is solid waste management. So this is lecture number 18, and this is from the subject called environmental and pollution control, and the subject code is 162503. So today's topic that we're going to discuss is benefits of reducing and reusing solid waste. So the content for today's lecture is benefits for reducing and reusing solid waste. So basically uh, this topic is it's all about how to reduce how to reduce the solid waste and uh, how to reuse the solid waste. So that is what we are going to discuss today. So waste is becoming a bigger problem in urban areas each year. Households are producing more waste. So disposable sites are filling up and new sites are further away from residential areas. Where waste is collected and transported to a disposal site. So this is beginning more expensive where householders have to dispose of waste themselves they have to spend more time doing this anything that reduce the amount of waste that has to be disposed of helps to reduce these problems some other advantages of waste reduction and reuse are summarized below so basically this paragraph is all about uh, the waste nowadays we all know the waste things that is solid waste is creating a more problem wherever we can go we will see the solid waste is being shattered in the roads and uh, the farms so many areas recently when I visited a place uh, there is a small village and next to that uh, it is like a sanitary filling something like that but actually it is not a sanitary filling because uh, I know what is sanitary filling and they have some procedures and they have some equipments for that to obtain the methane gas but here near to this village uh, people used to dump all the waste and you know what after dumping this waste the people uh, who is living next to that village is suffering a lot because you know when so much of dumps so much of uh, garbages have been dumped in a single place you know it is uh, it will pay away for the mosquitoes because uh, dumping will create so much of mosquitoes and you know that could lead to uh, so much of diseases malaria dengue so many things so many diseases will come out of this so people has to be educated on this because uh, waste is now nowadays becoming a big 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 issue and uh, simply they are just throwing the waste as they want they are not even bothered about the others not even bother about the environment so we need to think as a citizen so whenever we eat anything even a small uh, chips packet like something like lace or kurkure something like that what we are doing once we've done with the chips packet we'll just simply throw the cover on the road are we really bothered about that no so what we are doing is correct no that is wrong we should be bothered about that if we are following something everyone will be following that so what we have to do is we have to throw it in the garbage so we have to keep it in the mind that whenever wherever we have a chance to show the world that this is what has to be done in a correct manner we should use that opportunity we should utilize it and we should show the world So community benefits. So this is the first thing I want to share with you guys. Reuse can be very useful for disadvantaged people who cannot afford to buy a new goods. So in this society, there are three classes, maybe be four classes. I don't know about that. Lower class, middle class, and upper class. So lower class is nothing but the poor people. The middle class is the people who earn the money on a monthly basis or, or weekly basis to run their family and the upper people is something some some people like uh, 
they have money with them for the next five or six generations. So this community benefit will be very useful for the middle class people as well as the lower lower people. Why I am saying like that is because people who cannot afford to buy these new goods, they could be going with the refurbished one. Refurbished is nothing but the same product. For example, if I want to say it in a good example, I would say a mobile phone. So if I am having an iPhone, if suppose uh, the iPhone is not working properly because of some technical glitch, so I'm just returning this mobile to the uh, store i store. And what they will do is they will get it, they will check it, and they will give a new up uh, new phone, and they will take this phone. So that used phone will be going to the workshop, so they will repair it, and they will be putting in the refurbished website. So when people go people who wants to buy iPhone they might not have this leverage or like they might not have this uh, money because you know they cannot afford to buy these iPhones because of the price so there is refurbished product which is comes to the website people can easily go and buy because of the price so this middle class people who have a dream to buy an iPhone will be fulfilled in the refurbished site so if a phone is selling at 50,000, these refurbished mobile phones will be sold at 15 to 20,000. So almost 30,000 has been saved. So this is not only with the uh, electronic gadgets, it also includes with the clothing, building materials, business equipment, so many things are there. So which can be reused, which can be afforded at a lower price. So reuse centers that collects and distributes reusable goods can also provide community benefits by engaging in job training programs and general training for long-term unemployed, disabled people and young people. So this is how it works. Basically, it is a community benefit. It is not only goes for a single person, it goes for the whole community who wants to use the product which they cannot afford to buy. So this includes clothing, some damaged clothes which comes out from, from the industries can be sold for a lesser price. Building materials basically these uh, debris that comes out of this buildings can be sold on a lesser price so that they can use it for a new construction. Business equipments that is some missionaries, used missionaries can be reused on a lower price. So this is how the things goes on so this is the community benefits next one is the economic benefits so by reusing materials rather than creating new products from a raw materials there are fewer burdens on the economy as a whole especially if we use results in a reduction in raw materials and product imports Reuse is an economical way for many people to acquire the item they need. So it is almost or always less expensive to buy a used item than a new one. So this is economic benefit. So as we are talking about the iPhone, so this is something which is really good because by reusing materials rather than creating a new product. So if some, some, some product is there, if that product is being uh, broken or uh, having uh, some problem, rather we can create it one, where we can create the one, or we can uh, go by using the used materials. So when they you go for the reused materials, instead of buying the whole raw material, for example, if I want to make a car, so basically car requires so many raw materials if suppose I'm making a raw material or I'm, I'm building a car once everything is done and when it's go for the testing that is the testing so it is failed because this engine system is small function so what happens is this will be again going for the reassembling where in which it has to be reassembled so when these people do the reassembling, 
if they go for go with new product because already these parts have been assembled for a car and now they are again going to disassemble or dismantle that and again they want to do the correction engine so if they go with the new parts that is new raw materials cost is going more but what if they dismantle it again they use it so they are reducing the cost so this is how the economic benefit works reuse is an economical way for many people to acquire the items they need so basically the economic benefit is much more higher next one is the environmental benefit so if you reusing something uses little or no water energy or other resources and is unlikely to cause pollution as well as these benefits reuse eliminates the environmental damage that would have been caused if the item had been disposed of rather than reused so in contrast manufacturing a product from a raw material consumes resources causes pollution and generate waste and to a lesser extent recycling so when you go for the recycling that is the reusing we might use only little amount of water little amount of energy because we are using the same reused material reusable material but if we are going for a new raw material we have to make the raw material into the particular part and the particular part has been made and then only been going to assembly so when we bypass that we use the same uh, parts for the remodeling it's much more easier because we save our time we save our energy we save so many things and that will not affect the environment because already when you do that do that part with a particular raw material it causes a big environmental damage so when you you reusing that it is totally been cancelled or cut off so that gives an a better chance to ca- control the pollutions and to control the waste so that is how things are going with the environmental benefits so waste recycling so recycling waste means that the material is reprocessed before being used to making a new product so the re- reprocessing activities can have an impact on people's health and the environment but these impacts are usually lower than those from making the product from new raw materials recycling means treating the materials as a valuable resources rather than as a waste so that's many benefits but it is important to have a market for the end product otherwise the process will not be economically sustainable so waste recycling is nothing but reprocessing the material when which has been already been used for making a new product that is what waste recycling so for example sanitary filling is one of the good process i mean i would say plastic is a good waste re- recycling process where in which this plastic can be melted can be made of polymers and can be used for making a different uh plastic material so of it next one is the options for recycling depends on the types of waste for examples waste paper can be broken down into fibers in a process called pulping pulping is something but a technique in which um you broke the paper uh, into fibers so that to make it as a pulp for making new paper so the pulp is cleaned and then formed into new paper to be used for printing or packaging so waste metals and glasses can also be recycled by melting them down into a uh, new raw materials sheet metals can be beaten and reformed into new products 
plastic bottles can be grounded ground down and used to make plastic ropes or plastic coating for electric wires for some uh, waste recycling involves complex technical process and requires specialized machinery but other can be recycled more simply and on a small scale so all types of organic waste can be recycled by composting which can be carried out at home or on a larger scale so let's go together this is how we should go because go green is something which is very very important because the society that we are living now the environment that we are seeing is day by day it's getting reduced Day by day is getting been polluted, which we need to take care of our society. Energy recovery. A recover is to convert waste into resources such as electricity, heat, comfort, and fuel through thermal and biological means. Resource recovery occurs after reduce reuse and recycle has been attempted so basically recover is to just to convert the waste into a form could be a fuel could be a heat or it could be a power so these garbages have been dumped in order to be getting a energy out of it so this picture can easily you can see the picture itself so this Waste is being recovered and it's been given a heat or it can be given a fuel or it can give a power. So with that we just come to the conclusion. So today we have studied about the benefits and of reducing and reusing your solid waste. the reference book thank you guys we will see the next topic in the next video